Ladies and gentlemen, this is an update on Nick Gordon. You know, the more I read about this guy, the sadder this whole story becomes. It really does. You know, I heard about when they took him to the hospital, there was a black substance coming out of his mouth. Well, we know what that black substance was. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick had a very troubled life, especially with drugs. I just found out a month ago he had overdosed and they brought him back with Narcan. So this was the second time he overdosed in a month. And it's no telling how many more times he overdosed that we just don't know about. But the black substance that was coming out of his mouth that people were talking about was black tar heroin. And that's what caused his death. I mean, this, this whole thing is just terrible. You know, I think it was just a matter of drug addiction and all kinds of mental health issues with Nick Gordon. You know, we saw problems in him early on. Many of us recognized some very off signs about uh, Whitney Houston's wedding ring went missing and he was the one that took it. And it was all kinds of problems that, and some things we never heard about. You know, we still did not get the full story on what happened to Bobby Christina. So spiraling Nick Gordon, and by the way, he changed his last name to Buller. That's another thing I had found out. He changed his last name from Gordon to Buller. Um, suffered two suspected heroin overdoses in the space of a month and was homeless in the weeks preceding his death. Dailymail.com can exclusively uh, reveal. On the first occasion, a loved one was able to revive Gordon by administering Narcan, an opioid antidote that reverses the effect of heroin and kickstarts the heart. But luck ran out for the wayward former fiance of late Bobby Christina Brown when he once more overdosed in a central Orlando hotel room earlier on New Year's Day and did not get medical assistance in time. So, wow, toxicology screens are yet to reveal what killed Gordon, but family and friends suspect the drug involved was black tar heroin, which makes sense because when they said they saw a black substance coming out, that really makes more sense than anything else I've heard. A cheaper but notoriously potent form of the drug. That's a shame. Nobody should be gone at 30. <sighs> wow. Dailymail.com previously revealed that Gordon was with a mysterious female companion who raised the alarm but left before a fire and rescue team arrived. The 30-year-old had been dead for 15 minutes and first responders managed to restart his heart and get him to the hospital. He died later that day, surrounded by family. Gordon's heartbroken mother, Michelle, 48, traveled from her home in Honolulu, Hawaii, to visit her son's body Thursday. Friends told DailyMail.com she is due to fly back to Hawaii today after leaving arrangements for Gordon to be cremated and attending a small private memorial service Thursday night. Michelle was a loyal presence in her son's side throughout the fallout from 2015's death of Bobby Christina, attending interviews for support and letting him live at her previous home in Sanford, Florida. Wow, she lived where George Zimmerman <laughs> resides down there in Sanford. Yeah, that's where they fed alligators 
you know, I'm sorry, fed black babies to alligators in Sanford, Florida. It was one of the locations at least. But two years ago, she uh, decided to start a new life in Hawaii, telling friends she was on the verge of a nervous breakdown and wanted to escape the stress and glare of the paparazzi. Powell said the final straw came in June 2017 when she was forced to step in to protect her sons on, I guess that's supposed to be off, girlfriend Laura Lau who was allegedly being beaten and held prisoner in her guest room. So I take it that this is his mother right here. Okay. And this is his father. Okay. Got it. So these are Nick's parents, biological parents. Okay. Michelle just couldn't take it anymore. She always feared her son's addiction would kill him and she couldn't stand to see that happen. A friend told dailymail.com. She's absolutely devastated of course, but if there's a slight sense of closure, it's knowing that Nick is finally at peace. She said her goodbyes and done what she needs to do. She knows there was what, there was nothing more she or anyone else could have done to rescue him from addiction. Over the past 12 months, Gordon was holding down a job in construction and was said to have been doing great, according to his father, Jack Walker Jr. Wow. For drug addiction, I think that might have been the worst profession for him to be in. There's a lot of people on drugs and construction. You know, you know, especially I've heard some of the stories from True Royal. Plus, I've seen the articles on how many construction workers are on opioids. Okay, um, he told me 2020 was going to be better than 2019. He told DailyMail.com, Gordon was living with concerned former neighbors who looked out for signs of drug abuse and kept an eye on his drinking, but disappeared off the radar several months ago after splitting with Leo. The three-star Sheridan Orlando North Hotel, where rooms started around $99 per night, was to be home for the final two to three weeks of Gordon's life. Hotel management refused to comment, but Gordon's scuffy black BMW was still parked on the property Thursday with clothes, phone chargers, carrier bags, and bottled water. Okay, just thrown on the seats. Okay. So this is, I guess that was his final place right there at this hotel in Orlando. Okay, Gordon was living at the Sheridan Orlando North Hotel and was there the night of New Year's Eve when he allegedly overdosed a um, mystery woman called 911, but vanished before help could arrive. So this is his BMW still in the parking lot of the hotel. Okay. Well, you know, I, I still, you know, I know he was troubled and everything, but it's still hard to see somebody lose their life at 30, you know? All right. So we know he lived what at one time with Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. So Gordon, who was taken in by Houston at the age of 12, has never faced criminal charges and claim he tried his best to save the girl. Talking about Bobby Christina, he considered his little sis before their relationship became romantic. 
Brown's estate accused him, however, of causing her wrongful death by giving her a toxic mixture and also stealing from her bank account while she was comatose. When neither Gordon nor his lawyer showed up at hearings in 2016, a Fulton County Superior Court judge ruled against him by default, ordering him to pay massive damage. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure more will come out. This is definitely not it. But please tell me what you think. So this is a sad way for somebody to go. I mean, I know he had a very troubled life, but this is still sad. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.